I have some rather unfortunate news for anyone who might have backed the kickstart of the unsung story which of course had the name of Yasumi Matsuno attached, who of course is best known for Vagrant Story and Final Fantasy Tactics. Now the sad news of this particular Kickstarter is that it's no longer in active development. Now you may remember that this actually hit its 600k funding goal back in 2014. In fact it ended up with about 60 grand over their initial goal, but fell well short of an ambitious set of stretch goals. Now if that number seems low, the 600k I mean, is because it undoubtedly was. It would have taken more than double the initial cost, about 1.5 million, to see the Unsung Story game release on PS4, 3DS and of course the Vita. A new Game Plus mode have only been added about 1.6 million and 2.15 million would have added a Challenge mode. Now all of this paints a kind of clear picture of a developer who may have expected a larger return on their campaign and perhaps instead of just saying hey this is how much it costs for the initial goal was instead relying on the actual um, achievement of their stretch goals which is not really a good way to do things one of the best examples of a good kickstarter or crowdfunding should i say and there are of course plenty of examples but this is actually one i remember personally was one for Indivisible on uh, Indiegogo, which was done by the Lab Zero guys, who are of course well known for Skullgirls. They were flat out honest. We need, I think it was 1.5 million if I recall, co recall correctly. If we do not get this amount, this game will not be made. And keep in mind that 1.5 million was just for Kickstarter. The publisher was actually giving them another two or three million if I recall correctly. But they were honest about it from the start. This is how much we need. And in my opinion, that's how you run a Kickstarter. A lot of people were, you know, saying, hey, this is, seems like a lot. And they were like, well, that's how much it costs. Game development is expensive. Obviously, this is not a hard and fast rule. There are, of course, exceptions to this. And for example, a good rule of exception would be the case of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which was basically, hey, this is a proof of interest. Show us you're interested in this project and I will get a publisher to fund it. And obviously it went, up, went on to make way more money than he originally asked for, but it was initially pitched as a show of interest. And that's probably one way you could have done this, but from what I'm reading, this is not the case of Unsung Story. This was actually supposed to release, that being Unsung Story of course, in July of last year. And now a blog update has given the worst news for anyone who's actually looking forward to finally playing this game one day. And the developer who of course are Playdeck wrote on the Kickstarter page, quote, During the last few months we have had some development setbacks that are affecting our timeline and progress on the game. We're also affecting what we need to do in the immediate future as a company. After we posted our latest development progress, we unfortunately lost a few key staff members that were part of Unsung Story development. And that has had an impact on any progress since then, as well as our product focus. We now have one internal team capable of working on a single project, and for the financial strength of the company, we need to focus on a few products in the near term that have the ability to get to a retail release before Unsung Story is able to. So basically, Unsung Story isn't technically cancelled, it's basically being put on a very low heat on the back burner and basically several games will have to launch first and then the, the games that make that money will then be of course used to fund the development of Unsung Story. Now naturally the people who backed this on Kickstarter aren't best pleased and I can't really blame them and there have been multiple calls from backers for refunds. But the case is probably that their money has already been spent and the refunds are probably just not possible for that reason. And sadly this is just one of many Kickstarters that has either over promised or just had a too low a goal to actually fund the game. There's no way 600,000 was enough to develop a game of this scale. At least not without further backing from a publisher. So hopefully these people get their money back, but I doubt it, just simply because that money has probably been spent. It does not exist anymore. Maybe the developer will respond and somehow manage to get a refund, but uh, if you're a backer of this game, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't hold your breath. I mean, I hope they do get you your refund, don't get me wrong. I just think that that money has been spent, but we'll see. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.